Once upon a time, in a small village in Nigeria, there lived a woman named Amaka. Amaka had three beautiful daughters, Ada, Kemi, and Zenab. They lived happily together, even though life was sometimes hard. One day, Amaka became very sick. She had a bad illness that made her very weak, and she couldn't take care of her daughters like she used to do. The doctor told her that she needed 4 million naira to get better, but Amaka didn't have that much money. She tried asking her friends and neighbors for help, but nobody had enough to give to her. Amaka had been married before to a man named Chinedu, but they had separated many years ago. Chinedu was the father of her three daughters, but he had moved far away and stopped talking to them. Amaka was sad and lonely, and she didn't know what to do at this moment. As the day passed on, Amaka became weaker, and she was very worried about what would happen to her and her daughters if she died. She loved them very much and wanted to make sure that they would be safe. But without the money for her for her treatment, without the money for her treatment, she knew she might not live much longer. As the day passed on, Amaka became weaker. She was worried about what would happen to her and her daughter if she died. She loved them very much and wanted to make sure they would be safe. But without the money for her treatment, she knew she would might she might not live much longer. One night, when Amaka was lying in bed, she had an idea. It was a very difficult decision. She felt she had no other choice. She decided to call Chinedu, who happens to be her former husband, her ex-husband. She hadn't spoken to him in a, a long time, but she knew she needed help. So she had to ask for his help. When Chinedu answered the phone, he was surprised to hear from Amaka. She told him about her illness and how she needed 4 million naira to get better. Chinedu listened quietly, but he didn't say anything. Then, with a heavy heart, Amaka made her request very open. She asked Chinedu if he would come and spend one night with their three daughters. She hoped that by doing this, Chinedu would see how much they needed him and would help them. Chinedu was quiet for a long time. He didn't know what to say. He loved his daughters, but he had stayed away for so long. He wasn't sure if, if he could just walk back into their lives. He knew that Amaka wouldn't ask him for help unless she was seriously in need or desperate. Amaka waited anxiously for his answer, hoping that he would agree to come. She didn't know what else she could do to save herself and keep her daughter safe. The story did not end there. What would Chinedu decide? Will he come back to see his daughters? And will Amaka find a way to get better? We will find out soon.